Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nelson. Uh, this is a video on how to use the distributed property to solve equations. All right. Now, what does it mean to distribute? The, the textbook definition of distribute means to pass out. Okay. And here's a really good diagram right here that's in color. We have A times B plus C. Okay. And what the distributed property is all about is we have this many groups of A times what's inside the parentheses. So if you notice, A times B plus C equals AB plus AC. And what's happening is this A is being multiplied by the B. That's how we get the AB. And then this A is being also being multiplied by the C. And that's how we get the plus AC. All right. So over here in the top right hand corner where, where you have a little more room, let's try one like this. Say if we have five times happy faces plus stars. So what this means is we have five groups of what's inside the parentheses. So five times happy face would be five happy faces. And then five times star is five star. And we have a plus sign in, the, in between, so we're going to put a plus sign here. Okay. Now here's a common mistake. People often, like for example, down here we have three times n plus two. People often do the three times the n, which gives you three n, but then they just add the two, like a plus two, okay? This is wrong, please write down wrong here. What you have to remember is we have three groups of everything inside here. So three times n does give you the three n, but then three times two gives you six. So that would be three n plus six, okay? Another way to show this to you is if I have three groups of n plus two, well, I could say n plus two plus n plus two plus n plus two. And when I add the n's, n plus n plus n gives you three n, and two plus two plus two gives you the, the six, all right? Uh, if you turn the page, please. Now let's actually solve some problems that involve the distributed property. All right. So the first one we have four groups of n plus 10 equals 60. So first we're going to distribute the 4 to both the n and the 10. So it's going to be 4n plus 40 equals 60. And then I'm going to subtract the constant 40 from both sides. So we have 4 times n equals 20. And then divide both sides by 4, and n ends up being 5 for this one. All right, next example. Here we have five groups of n minus 3 equals 20. So again, I'm going to distribute the 5 to both the n and the minus 3. So that's going to be a 5n minus 15 equals 20. And then add 15 both sides. So that leaves us with 5 times the number equals 35. And then divide both sides by 5. And n is going to equal 7. All right. So now that you understand a little more about the distributive property, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. And you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with these practice problems. Okay, so the first problem, it's two groups of 5n plus 1 equals 42. So I'm going to first distribute the 2 to both the 5n and the 1. So that will give us 10n plus 2 equals 42. Now I'm going to take away 2 from both sides. And we get 10n equals 40. And then divide both sides by 10 and n equals 4. So there's the first solution. Okay, Remember, you can always take this and plug it back in. Uh, 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 plus 1 is 21, and 21 times 2 gives us our 42. All right, here we have a negative 3 times n minus 3 equals negative 24. So I'm going to distribute the negative 3 to the n. So that will give us a negative 3n. I'm going to distribute the negative 3 to the negative 3 inside the parentheses. So a negative times a negative gives us a positive 9. That's going to equal 
negative 24. Now I'm going to take away 9 from both sides. So we have negative 3n equals negative 33. Last but not least, divide both sides by negative 3. And a negative divided by a negative is, is a positive. And negative 33 divided by negative 3 gives you 11 as our solution. All right, how'd you do?